hands-on with Sonnet's Fusion Thunderbolt 3 PCIe flash drive. True, it's compact and extremely capable, but is it really the fastest portable bus-powered external drive that you can buy? Sonnet's Fusion SSD sort of looks like an oversized deck of playing cards. It's comprised entirely of black anodized aluminum, which also works as a heatsink. This design is very beneficial because it means that the unit needs no fans. It results in dead silent operation. It does mean that when the drive is working though, it gets fairly warm to the touch. The bottom of the unit features four feet to prevent it from sliding around on your desk. There's also a blue LED activity slash power indicator on the front that cleverly makes up the O in the word fusion. Now, before I continue, I also wanna note that I have Sonnet's eGraphics Breakaway Puck portable eGPU in the house. Would you guys like a video about it? Leave me a thumbs up if so. The Thunderbolt 3 cable is built into the unit, which means that you never have to go searching for a cable, but understandably some people may not like this fact. It means that you're essentially limited to the 1.5 foot length of the cable, although if the cable breaks, the captive design allows Sonnet technicians to easily replace it while under warranty. The great thing about the Fusion Thunderbolt 3 PCIe flash drive is that it's entirely bus powered. This means that it doesn't require an external power source to work. After initially plugging the drive into your Mac, you'll need to format it. On High Sierra, the format process can be a little tricky because Disk Utility didn't see the drive at all. I had to venture into the command line Disk Utility to locate the drive and perform the initial format. Once that was done, then macOS could see the drive just fine. But the best thing about the Fusion Drive is far and away its speed. Because it uses a Gen 3 M2 PCIe SSD module, its data rates over Thunderbolt 3 when attached to an X4 enabled port completely obliterates SATA 3 SSDs. Drives like Samsung's T5 are fast, but the PCIe Fusion Drive runs circles around it in both read and write performance. Just keep in mind that you'll need a Thunderbolt 3 enabled computer for the drive to be recognized as it doesn't work with a standard USB 3.1 over the Type-C connector, and it also doesn't work with Thunderbolt 2 ports via an adapter due to the lack of power. I tested the Fusion SSD using the trusty Blackmagic Disk Speed Test tool and was impressed by what I saw. The Fusion SSD hangs with my MacBook Pro's internal NVMe SSD and read performance as it hovers around 2200 megabytes per second and actually eclipses its write performance with speed somewhere around 1400 megabytes per second. This makes the Fusion SSD an ideal macOS boot drive candidate for systems with slow or limited internal storage. Needless to say, the Sonnet Fusion's real-world performance is remarkable. Sonnet wasn't kidding us when it claimed that the Fusion was the fastest portable bus power drive on the market. I also made sure to run a sequential speed test using QuickBench and I found the numbers to be close to the theoretical speed limits that Sonnet reports in its marketing materials. I can't think of another product that beats it off the top of my head. The biggest barrier to entry with the Fusion SSD is obviously the price. At $9.99, it's anything but cheap, but that doesn't make it necessarily a bad value when you consider that an upgrade to a one terabyte SSD and an entry-level 13-inch MacBook Pro cost around $800, the price of the Sonnet Fusion doesn't seem all that outlandish after all, and the fact that you can easily take it with you and seamlessly move it between computers makes it arguably a better long-term value proposition. Thumbs up to Sonnet for producing a, yes, pricey, but very impressive piece of tech. Do you currently use an external drive with your Mac? Would you consider the Sonnet Fusion? Be sure to check out the full post over at 9to5Mac for more in-depth coverage, and let me know what you think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.